Slip rollers are great. They allow you to roll sheet metal into a curve or a roll or a cylinder. I've always wanted a big one, but they're a crazy price and cheaper ones are only for very thin metal. So of course, for a long time I've been wondering how I could make one. But I've been put off by the complications of some designs and I don't have a metal working lathe, so how will I turn down the ends of round stock to accommodate bearings? It seemed a bit complicated and expensive because even just buying six bearings could use up all my budget. So that's why I haven't made one until now. Because recently we made this little run for Trudy to keep her safe when she comes on heat. And I used these couplings for the first time. They're made to fit different sizes of this galvanized steel pipe. There are elbows and tees and straights and all sorts available. And the pipe is cheap and the fittings are surprisingly cheap too. And the exciting thing about these fittings is not just that they are cheap and strong, but they work like a bushing. So the pipe can spin freely inside without the need for bearings. Well, perhaps not at high speed, but they might be fine for this project. I don't know anything about metallurgy, but I'm assured by Chris the engineer that the zinc coating will act as a lubricant and they will wear very slowly, especially with some grease in there too. Anyway, I decided it was worth a try and this is what I came up with. It's not very pretty, but it's definitely a slip roller and for a fraction of the price of a real one. The hardest part was connecting the two bottom rollers. I was able to cut out sprockets with my plasma cutter. You, you wouldn't believe how excited I was when I did this and they worked first time. <laughs> but you don't need a plasma cutter for it. I found these things online. They're called plate wheels. If you wanted to do the same thing, you'd have to drill a bigger hole in them for the pipe. I did cut the ends off a fitting to use as stops, but Jubilee clips work better and they're much easier too. Look, <laughs> how satisfying is that? Whee! <laughs> So that's the bottom two rollers. Now for the top one, it has to be able to uh, slip in between them and be able to be adjusted up and down and also to slip out of the way for when you make a complete circle. Now I found that if it can move around too sloppily, then it will pinch the metal. So I solved that by putting it on long arms. They keep it parallel to the other rollers but still allow up and down movement. Remember this is just my first attempt. I may well configure the parts differently to bring the rollers closer together. But for now I'm checking the concept and whether the parts will stand up to the pressures. For now I'm using two bottle screws to pull down on the arms. Again I may change that at some point. And the great thing about this is I can um, expand this contraption sideways so easily just by using longer pieces of pipe. I only made it this size to fit the stand that I had. And I made everything from off cuts of pipe. And everything just comes apart with an allen key. It's almost too easy really considering how long I've wanted one of these things. And here's my first wheel rim. This is just a strip of 4mm steel 
I don't have anything heavier or wider to show you just at the moment, but I will need to get some in anyway for upcoming projects. It seemed to roll this so easily, I can't see it um, having much trouble with something a little bigger at least, but we'll find out. I can think of lots of improvements I can make, so I may post another video when I've got around to them. In the meantime, I know some of you will be interested in this and have their own ideas for making a better version. So off you go and start rolling and may all your flat bars end up curly.